to my channel. This is Boiler Dan One, and today I'm going to unbox the Chaperone. This is a steamboat. Uh, you may call it a paddle wheel boat. Let me get into the unboxing, and then we'll start the construction right away. The Chaperone has quite the history. It was built in 1884 in Schamburg, Ohio. It would run from Pittsburgh to New Orleans. It transported bushels of coal. Then in 1906, the Army Corps of Engineers uh, took the ship. In 1906, there were uh, locks built in the Green River, just downstream from Mammoth Cave in uh, Kentucky. And the Chaperone was the first boat of its kind to pass through those locks. In addition to hauling cargo, she ran sightseeing excursions between Bowling Green and Mammoth Cave. She was sold just before World War I the Chaperone sailed the Tallahatchie River until fire destroyed her in 1922. This is model shipways kit MS-2190. It is made in the USA by Model Shipways and Company. You get their catalog. There's a parts list. An instruction manual that is something that I will need to stop and read but it will be a helpful guide and it gives you kind of step-by-step -step instructions, but uh, there's a lot more to it than, than what is in this booklet. These, let me set this off to the side a little bit. This is a parts sheet for each one of these parts sheets. There's a matching sheet with the numbers. So there's, there's several of these. So I'll match those up as I go. These are quite these are quite large. There's several pages, and these are quite large. There's several pages, and it does give some good explanation of what goes where. You'll see more of these as I spread them out as I'm doing the build, and I'll stretch them out over the hood of my car. There's a real thin brass rod in here. I have no idea as of yet. I'd set these to the side. There's some uh, lifeboats, it looks like, and some other brass fittings and rope, different things. A lot of dowels and pieces, some pretty wide planking in that container. I'm not going to go through each one of these. We'll see them as the build goes. See what I can uh, move to the side. Looks very interesting. Lots and lots and lots of parts and pieces. Some of these are numbered, some are not. That's where the sheets will come in handy. I'm just trying to get down here to the bottom. They're in a protective wrapper. And then a lot of nice brass. That concludes the unboxing of the Chaperone. Now we're all set to start construction. This is Boiler Dan 1, and as always, thanks for watching.